He's not smiling. <laughs> he smiled afterwards. He's focused, okay. though. Right. He's intent, he's focused, and looks like C2C just ran right in. Just tried to get some damage right away. This matchup can be, depending on the Sheik, it can be either really good or really, really bad. Because uh, she, she can guard, edge guard uh, target pretty easily. Um, and like everything, all of her tools are like can keep uh, Lucario out. It's, yeah. It can be really tough. Uh, but of course, the Xander is really good. Uh, the best Lucario in the Midwest because oh, he's yeah. got enough back airs to earn it. <laughs> um, Especially with the all other, the other side of the matchup, though, is if, if she cannot kill, which we. Which we've seen like, multiple times, we, and being on Battlefield doesn't help. Okay, so we, we know this is a problem with Sheik, but if Sheik can't find the kills, that's that's Lutara's entire plan. It's just continuously get hit, which Sheik does, and then not die, which Sheik also allows. Um, Maybe. I do I do like the way that uh, he started off this match right now, being a, being a little more... Uh, that was the worst DI I've ever seen. <laughs> you gotta be... Because that, it's that moves, moves that send you like an up and out for an angle. If they go if their angle's too high enough, and you're DI'ing in because you're expecting it to go, you see the direction going the other way. Yeah. They'll kill you off the top, easy. They have oh, yeah. core and side B a lot. Like, people will DI it thinking they're about to hit that way. They are dying really early. Mm -hmm. uh, having the same thing with uh, Lucario's Force Palm. And, um, uh, man, Rage is cool. Um, rage and Aura. Um, that's a thing. And that's how Lucario works, everyone. Uh, um, welcome to Smash Bros. Welcome to Smash Bros, where Rage and Aura together make a character very strong. Even without that good of frame data, Lucario will destroy you. Well, I, I don't, Jeff, I'm, I'm going to be honest. Like, it, I don't see the next the next uh, game going any different than that. Well, again, Z2G. Unless he goes Cloudburst. It's a completely different matchup, obviously. But yeah, I Z2G counterpicks everybody. Like, and even sometimes he just feels like playing a different different character. Even maybe the matchup I, isn't the be yeah. better one. Even even though he won that really fast, like there's a there's a chance he didn't want to. He was thinking about not playing the matchup again just because. Does it? He, he. I've talked to him. He doesn't particularly like it. Um, All right. Well, it looks like we're gonna see the run back right now. I wonder why. So he does actually. I should. I say that, but he also has a pretty good uh, history of beating Midwest Sheiks. Uh, besides, like Akiro and some of the other better ones. He's like he's beat Big Mac at a construct uh, a few months ago. Uh, he beat Sinibu at uh, at a Minnesota tournament uh, before that. So like he has he he has a history of beating up Sheiks with Lucario specifically. Yeah, it looks like he knows the matchup for, very well. And again, it's like I said before, like that if, if a Sheik cannot get the kill, Lucario will just go ham. Uh, a lot of times what I see from Z2G is especially when he's playing these tournament matches, he waits a little bit. He sees he sees maybe those first couple options he throw out and then he goes in. When he's starting out against against a Sheik, it's not like that. He goes exactly in in the beginning. He doesn't stop. He doesn't stop until the, until he doesn't have another guaranteed follow up and then he kind of backs out. Yeah, he's he's very good at waiting and punishing. Like, it's probably it's probably the one thing he's always been the best at. Okay, his punish game was insane. Though, so, besides to completely ignore it there, I guess. Oh, uh, just goes for the B reverse and wait reverse bounce. cancel into up smash. Classic. Uh, yeah, he he took out. I think that's basically how he beat Big Mac. Which is constantly doing that, coming in up smash. Like if you don't if you're not ready for it, it'll, it'll destroy you. Yeah. Well, right now, uh, I think this is kind of a. Now that I think about it, uh, the way that ZGG is playing this is kind of making it almost impossible for Oath to find a kill confirm right now. Yeah, he's just he's just running away, uh, moving up a little. He's not like really going in. He's like moving up just a little bit, so that trying to make Oath go the rest of the way, uh, and then when Oath does and fails in his approach, Xander just ends him. Um, up smash is coming. Nope. Nope. Not quite yet. Not the diamond cutter. Yeah, it's gonna keep Close going like this. A force bomb here might end it. Actually, this might be it. That's it. Yep. yep. Oh, oh wow, no! Wow. Battlefield. <laughs> oh, but bouncing fish is over the aura sphere. That was close. I'm, okay, I'm impressed. I'm sure that wasn't intentional. I'm sure he's trying to snap the ledge. Yeah, but there's still. just gonna be a back air here. And... Nope. Yeah, he was looking for it. Oh, gets aura sphere. He's he's really looking for that back air. It's a dash attack. If he can get the kill, it might take a little longer for Lucario to try to. Uh, that, oh, just Sheik fasted everything. I thought he was done there. What was that ledge snap? He was on stage. 
Wait, if we get, okay, so Lucario at max rage right now. But if we see if we see some kind of kill confirmed soon, oh, going for a hard read right there. If we if we see, I mean, Lucario at low percent cannot kill very well. You don't want to get stuck in shield against C2G though. Yeah, that's good. Run away with needles. That's basically how you play against Lucario. Excellent, excellent tech there. Uh, Absol is not, not going to kill yet. I'm, I'm actually surprised that didn't kill it. At this high percent, it's usually a good confirm. Uh -huh. Well, doing a lot of work, getting almost, almost up to the 200 percent. Vendor's just going to hold shield and wait for his opportunity. He has, he has time. Like at this point, the damage that he's racking up, even when he, even if he dies at this point, it's going to be very easy for him to just find a kill. Oh, and but bouncing fish on there. A terrible bouncing fish, and he just does a vent. Yeah. Oh, at him. Uh, oh, CGG taking it. 2-0. Oh. And he has...